Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. This is Dan and Alice and you're watching Plant Abundance on YouTube. Just a quick check-in video. Alice is making some dinner here and I wanted to share with you how we do it, how we utilize produce from the garden. She's right now making one of my favorite Filipino cuisine dishes of all time. What is it, honey? Tinola. Tinola Tin season. Tinola. Oh yeah. What? Absolutely delicious. It's made using uh, sayote also known as chayote squash, as well as some uh, chicken and other vegetables. Are you going to show them the chayote here? Yeah. So here's the chayote squash, and here's what it looks like when it's whole. You can see we're saving this one because it's starting to sprout. So this is going to get planted out in the garden. We're going to try again. We've, we've grown this in the past, but we didn't get it to the point where we got full-size squash. But we know other folks in the area who have been successful with that. Anyway, this is a delicious vegetable. So what did you just ask me to go harvest from the backyard for you for this dish? The greens from the backyard. So she wants some fresh greens from the garden. Well, I think we can accomplish that. But instead of just giving her some tree kale and tree collards for the dish, I'm also going to throw in some hollyhock leaves. I had mentioned before that they're edible, they're nutritious, they're delicious. So I'm going to harvest a couple of those as well. Man, the greens are just looking incredible right now. Little bee there. But we got some more rains last night, and everything is just popping. So here are some of the hollyhocks I can harvest some of the leaves from. They're best to harvest at this younger, tender stage. We've got some more next to this this borage coming back up as a volunteer, which also has edible leaves and flowers. We'll grab some of this hollyhock back here. Yes, this will be good. And I'll grab some of these greens. I like to harvest a little here, a little there off my plants just to spread out the harvest so the plants don't look bare in any one spot. Oh wow. I mean after a rain these greens just really take off. Oh man I just noticed the almond tree is in bloom here. Isn't that gorgeous? We got some wonderful greens right in front of it as well. This is a volunteer patch of greens. I just chopped and dropped some of the plants over here a couple years ago. And look at what we have now. Greens forest. All I can say, my friends, is God is good. Everything that we need is provided for us. With just a little bit of effort and with faith, amazing things can be accomplished. So I just want to give you guys this message today and let you know that we have great times ahead of us and each and every one of us has something that we can contribute to this world and as long as it's based in love and light, then we know we're on the right track. So I'm going to bring these greens into the wife now so she can finish cooking dinner and I'll show you the end result of the dish. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, thank you. Very fresh heart. Yeah. I got some hollyhock greens in there too. Where is the hollyhock? Back here. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so let me show you how Alice prepares the greens when she's cooking. So she just bunches it all together, kind of rolls it up nice and tight, and slice. You can add the whole thing if you want to. Yeah, I often do when I'm making my soups is I chop up the stems as well. They become soft, almost like a green bean when you add them in. 
Really quick, I just want to run down for you guys what's in this dish. This isn't a recipe video, but rather we just want to share with you how we utilize the produce from our garden. But for this tenola, and you can find recipes all over the internet, all that's in there is she starts out by sauteing garlic and onion, throws in some chicken stock, adds in some cubed chicken, some ginger, really important, don't forget the ginger, lots of ginger, I say, and then the chayote squash and greens, and cook that all together and you've got yourself a delicious meal. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, sweetie.